two one two four. Trey, are you there? Let's... Yes, I am. All right, there you go. Okay, good. He's in his secure bunker somewhere <laughs> in uh, Cleveland. All right, Trey Harden, after day one, you're world-class political operative. What are your thoughts? <laughs> well, I think it was fairly uneventful. Um, you know, one thing that did stand out to me, and, and I'm sure stood out to everyone, is it's clear that the strategy of the Trump campaign is to make uh this whole week um and maybe the, the the you know the whole campaign a referendum on hillary as opposed to um a uh you know positive campaign about trump um frankly i think that's probably the right strategy if i was advising him because trump doesn't have necessarily a lot to run on and obviously um putting the fear you know fear is a very strong motivator in terms of getting voters out and and uh, so I do think that it works to a certain degree. But, um, you know, this is Trump is the first uh, first nominee who has never held elected office since Ike Eisenhower uh, in 52. And last time I checked, Trump did not win World War Two like, <laughs> uh, like Eisenhower did. So this whole this whole week for Trump has to be about. Uh, justifying the reasoning for doing that again, electing someone who has never held office and, and doesn't have necessarily the experience that that uh, main, mainly will, or you know hopefully would provide some uh, you know a fresh perspective on this. But he still it's he, going after Hillary is not enough. It's got to be, and this is hopefully what we'll see out of him the remainder of the week and certainly culminating with his speech. It has to be uh, some element of him. Uh, talking to voters about what type of president he'll be, why they can feel comfortable with him in the White House, and 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 what he specifically will do. I I, I know the floor fight being what it is, they really can't control that, so you can't blame him for that or his campaign. But we were talking before you joined us. He this this uh, Patricia Smith was up on the stage, the the mother of a of a of somebody who was killed in the Benghazi attacks. And Donald Trump calls into Bill O'Reilly on Fox News, and Fox News leaves the speech to talk to Donald Trump. So Trump was stepping on his own message during the convention. That That is the dumbest thing I've ever seen a, a candidate do. Well, he can't help himself. I mean, first of all. And second of all, his, his, his campaign staff and team... Um, are a bunch of amateurs who have uh, very little experience doing, um, you know, doing doing this and and uh, working on uh, successful uh, political campaigns. And it starts at the top with his chief of staff or campaign manager Paul Manafort, who's a lobbyist, frankly. And that's because none of the real talented seasoned ones wanted anything to do with him or wanted to be with him. So he has a bunch of misfit toys that are essentially working for him. And, um, you know, you could also point to the fact that now uh, Melania Trump is being criticized her speech for um, almost verbatim pulling from uh, Michelle Obama's speech in 2008. I mean, if you are a staffer, how could you not look at the, her speech and make sure that you are not reciting specific verses or, or or phrases from that that would easily be scrutinized and pulled from that. Uh, additionally, why is Senator Joni Ernst, one of the rising stars of the Republican Party, um, female that certainly needs uh, to be have a face for the Republican Party? Why is she speaking at eleven fifteen instead of eight fifteen or eight thirty? Right. Um, there's just a lot of things that that point to the amateur uh, amateur hour that we're wit witnessing there, but. There's no question a staffer should have been like, uh, hey, boss, you, you, this is not the time for you to go on O'Reilly. I know you do it every night, but this is not the time. Uh, I'm, I'm with you on Joni Ernst. I was I looked up and it was like 1030 here and I was like, what 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 is she doing outside of? I mean, here's a he needs help with the women vote. She's a she's a great speaker. She's a great um, uh, uh, image form. And uh, half the country's asleep. It just makes no sense. All right, Trey, um, get back to work. Thanks for checking in. Have a good week. You too, buddy. Take care. 625 here, Big 550.